Hi guys, it is collab day. And today I am collabing with Jennifer from Jennifer Loves Makeup. We are using the Glam Light Scooby-Doo palettes. So stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy. And I'm really happy that you're here. Jennifer reached out to me and asked me, since we both bought Glam Light palettes, uh, the Scooby-Doo release, if I would want to collab with her. And I was like, yeah. So I have... I bought the Rut Row Raggy and the Creeps and Crawls, and she has the Creeps and Crawls. So we decided that she would do the Creeps and Crawls, and I would do the Rut Row Raggy. And I'm really happy that it turned out this way, because of the two, the Creeps and Crawls is the one I'm more likely to gravitate toward, because I'm not really big on this quad right here, but... Uh, I told her, I said, that makes me kind of go out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I'm really happy that it turned out that way. And I'm excited. I'm excited to use this palette. I am using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It has become my favorite eye primer. And... It's a kind of a gripping primer and I don't set it. And I was always, um, when I would use the Ace Butte, I would set it. I would set it every time. Okay, you guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I don't know. I'm making myself use those yellows. I think I might be using the six shades right here because I would automatically go to this shade, these four shades. And I thought that about doing that. But I'm not. I'm going to go, I'm going to concentrate on these. And I think, I'm going to see if that light teal shade. All right, I'm going to take this Doe Color brush. It's kind of a flat brush. And I am going to go into this yellow right here. And I'm going to put that on the front part of my lid. You know, I was not going to do my face makeup first. And for some reason, I did. It's just a it's just a habit, you guys. It's just a habit. I hope everyone had a great week this week. Um, tell me something good that happened to you this week. I haven't asked you that in a long time. It's been a long time since I've asked you that. So tell me something good that happened to you this week. There is some kick up in the pan, but not terribly. Not terribly. I'm going to turn that brush over and I'm going to go into this shade right here. They don't have shade names. They are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have a video where I'm swatching these and I will put that up in the cards. The cards? The cards? I think it's over here. You guys. Today has been a day. It really has. Um, I, I was off. I was off today. I had, uh, if you didn't see my get ready with me from yesterday, I had, um, dental surgery last week, which is why I didn't film anything, um, until later in the week. And this is a little patchy, you guys, just a little bit patchy. Not as much kick up in the pan in this shade though. And, um, so I'm feeling much better. It was rough, man. It was rough. I had a rough couple of weeks or, well, I should say week and a half. Week and a half. Okay. I like how that's looking. I like how that's looking. I have decided I'm going to put some shadow shields on. I just took one shadow shield and cut it in half. Put it on the right side, Andy, because I'm getting, I'm getting ready to use a dark color. I'm getting ready to use a dark shade in here, and I really don't want fallout all over my face. I really don't. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to go into this brush. I think it's a doe color. I think it is. I can't remember. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a very dark teal. Um, This, you know, stand by here. This is a little, just a little patchy, 
a little patchy. Glam White is not usually very patchy on me, but it is just a little patchy. Um, I'm going to take that yellow shade and I'm just going to blend these two together. And all of this will probably be covered up in just a minute. But I wanted to get this base down. Okay. Now I'm going to take the doe color brush and I'm going to go into that dark, dark teal shade. So I'm going to put this in my outer corner and deepen that up. And that is pretty. That is a pretty shade. Very, very pretty. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to take this brush and take that lighter teal shade and blend those two together. I like that gradient. That gradient's pretty. I'm going to deepen that up just a little bit more on the outside. My stomach's growling, which I shouldn't because we went out to dinner and I'm not eating solid food. <laughs> I'm not eating solid food yet. I mean, I am, but not like food you have to chew. So we went to this place that we love called Beer Barrel and Pizza. And we love their pizza, but I didn't get pizza. I got French onion soup and mashed potatoes. <laughs> the waiter was like, okay. I'm like, there's a dental thing. I'm, I just can't eat. <laughs> Anthony had lasagna. He said it was really good. Keto is on hold. Keto is on hold until I can eat chew food again because soup as a whole is not keto. I could make a keto soup, but I don't feel like doing that. So I've been eating like potato soup and tomato soup. Tomato soup can be keto. Okay. Okay. I like that. That makes me happy. That's really pretty. You know what? I meant to bring you guys closer. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I am going to go into, I'm going to take a smaller, I don't know if I want that small of a brush. Smaller brush. This is a colored rain brush. This is a small blending brush. And I am going to go back into that lighter teal. I am going to bring that up a little bit through here. I've got something going on right here and I think it might be a crease or a wrinkle or something, but it's not like super smooth. I don't know if you can see that. It's not like super smooth when I do this. Okay. I'm taking a fluffy brush and I don't know what brush this is. And I am, it doesn't have any product on it. I'm just blending this out. So I really don't have a light, light shade to do that with. So I'm just going to blend it out with no product on it. I like that. That's nice. You know what I'm noticing is this one was winged out more than this. So let's fix that. This one's tending to be more rounded. Oh, those are so pretty. Oh, those teals are so pretty. I love teal, you guys. I love the color. Red is my favorite color. I love teal. Teal is a really pretty color. Um, I think when we redo our bedroom, we're doing gray walls with teal and navy accents. I think that's what we're doing. I saw a thing on Pinterest. If I think about it, I'll put the picture up here. My inspo, my bedroom inspo. Yes. Okay, now we're going to the shimmers, which is what I'm excited about. This is a smaller shimmer brush. This is an AOA Studio E. 121 and then the bigger one that I get is the E are these the same size wait a minute stand by okay I'm back this is an E122 and this is an E121 and it is larger but I like this for the front part of my lid and I want this for the outer part because there's more real estate here and I need a bigger brush so I am going to go into that yellow shimmer right here. 
and I'm going to put that on the front part of my lid. Oh my gosh, lamb light shimmers are redonkulous. Uh, where's my sprayer? Here it is. I am going to spray it. Oh, that's a pretty shimmer. I'm going to use... I'm going to use one of these little... Um, they're disposable. Disposable... Uh, disposable brush tip applicators. And I'm going to go back into that lighter shade. That lighter yellow. Oh, see? See the difference? Holy cow! The difference. So are you guys subscribed to Jennifer? Have you ever visited Jen Jennifer over at her channel? As I said, her channel is Jennifer Loves Makeup. And I really enjoy her. I enjoy her content. Uh, I love watching her do makeup. I love watching her... Um, she has makeup that she's used that month. She does... This is a little flaky, you guys. Um, she does, like, try-ons of new stuff that she's gotten or just shows you new stuff she's gotten. A lot of makeup content. Also, uh, mental health awareness. She is agoraphobic, and she is she speaks freely about that, and I think that is really important. Um, to speak freely and to talk about, uh, bring awareness to, to mental health issues. And, um, yeah, I, li I really like that she does that. All right. I am going to go back to a brush. Um, oh, that's why, cause that's not an AOA studio brush. Stand by. Here's an AOA Studio brush, and I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a really light teal. It looks a lot lighter on camera than it does, and I'm going to put that, I am going to spray it. Um, I, may, I may end up going in with another sponge tip, and I'm going to put that in the middle. That is so... That is really pretty. Jennifer also does a collab on Thursdays, I believe, with the Glam Gals. And they do a kind of like the palette collection bingo, uh, but they do it on a wheel where they spin the wheel. And they show you what was chosen for them. And that is Jennifer and it's uh, Gloria from Beauty over 50 beauty after 50 i don't know why i keep it because i keep wanting to call her southern mom of boys that's why because that's what she was when i first started watching her and then life with christine and i try to catch those every thursday also jennifer will do her ipsy bags and um, have lives with her husband aaron and she's been re more recently doing recipes from she used to have a tea room and she's been doing recipes from the tea room. And um, there's a blackberry cobbler. That looks amazing. Amazing. I haven't made it yet. And Anthony, Lo I'm not a big fan of blackberries, but Anthony loves blackberry cobbler. Matter of fact, we just had some at the restaurant the other night where he did. I had potato soup, but he had the blackberry cobbler and he said it was really good. Um, so I would love to make that for him. Okay, I am now going into this dark teal right here and I am putting that on the outer part of my lid just so we have a gradient kind of an ombre if you will so I will have a link to Jennifer's video in the description box below as well as a link to her channel and um, go over and check her out and hang out and visit her for a while and see if her content is something that you will like because I really do enjoy her a lot. I love so many 
of the creators that, I mean, we're friends, but I love watching their content. I just wish I was independently wealthy and could sit and watch YouTube all day. I just can't. So there are certain videos of certain people that I really, really try hard to watch. You guys, that is so pretty. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, I'm so glad I chose those shades and not the purples. I mean, I love the purples. Don't get me wrong. I do. All right. I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to very, very gingerly go underneath my eye. Um, I'm going to go with this Angie Hot and Flashy. It is a, an A504. And I am going to go into that dark teal. I'm going to go underneath my eye. I'm going to try to blend that line a little bit because I don't like that line. I don't like such a sharp line there. Oh, man. I had some on my finger. I'll have to clean that up. I'll have to clean that up in a minute. Well, that's a nice brush for that. I love these. Uh, it's BK Beauty. BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy did a collab together and and she got her set of brushes, and uh, I got these as a gift uh, for my birthday, I believe, from Leanna Dalton, and they're amazing. They are pretty much my favorite brushes. Yeah, I like that. Man, I can't believe I did that. Stand by. Okay, I'll clean that up a little bit, and... Um, what I, what I dropped on my face and then had to redo my highlighter because I covered up my highlighter. Oh, I need an inner corner shade. Oh, no. I'm not done with the under underneath. Flipping disaster, you guys. It's been a day. It's been a day. It has. Can't even tell you. Um, I slept twice today. Like, I slept half of my sleep time from 2.30 in the morning, which I never go to bed before 7 or 8 in the morning. 2.30 in the morning until 7, until 8. I took Bailey to the doctor because she had to, since she played soccer, she has problems with these ingrown toenails, and so she had to do something. And, and then they ended up not doing it for whatever reason. She has to go back next week. And it's really far, it's okay, so it's not far away. But by Columbus standards, it's clear north. And the traffic is just freaking terrible. It's terrible. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go into this yellow. I am. I'm going to go in with the, I don't know how that's going to work. Let's see. I'm going to go with, with the sponge tip. Let's see if I can do it that way. No, I can't do it that way. I'm going to go with this brush. I mean, I probably could, but I will spray it. Glam Light's shimmers are so soft. They're almost like a cream. Some of them, like the, especially like the yellow in the cake palette, is like a cream. Well, that's pretty crazy. I like it, though. I do. I do like it. Um, okay. Inner corner. Stand by. Okay, I'm going to use this Super Shock from ColourPop. And it is in the shade Ember. And it came with the, it came with the Firefly palette. And it's such a pretty, like, not quite a mint green. It's like a silvery light teal. I don't know, I guess. Put that in my inner corner. I don't really have a yellow, a light, light yellow. I have a gold, but I don't want that. I want something cool. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that from my inner corner. That's pretty. Use these shocks, man. I have them and I don't use them. Even if I only used them for inner corner, at least I'm using them. This one's never been used. I've never used it. Ever. I always bring it up a little bit on the lid. Just very inner corner lid. Just a blend. I'm a blender, guys. I'm a blender. 
Okay, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do liners, lashes, lips. Don't go anywhere. Hey you guys, welcome back. This is my finished look. I'm so happy that I chose to do this palette instead of the same palette that she was doing because, as I said, it pushed me out of my comfort zone. Uh, I really like it. I like the look that I created. It's a little out there for me, but I like it. I I like it. Um, again, rut row raggy. So pretty, you guys, so pretty. Those shimmers. Oh, so good, so good. I love Glam Light. Okay, I'm going to show you what I used on the rest of my face. I put it all in this little bin here. As I did it, otherwise I'm looking for it. I didn't put my primer in here. I used the Laura Geller Spackle Primer is what I used. And then for my foundation, I used the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is 210 Neutral and 240W. Uh, you, I was mixing the 240 with the 280, but it's winter time. So I have those two. And then I set my under eye. Oh, my concealer. I used the Camouflage... Uh, Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer in Light Honey. Photo Focus Setting Powder, uh, Translucent Setting Powder on my under eyes and my T-zone. Liquid Contour is the Milani Contour uh, Conceal and Perfect, and this is in Honey. And it's got a a brush tip on it if you haven't seen it it's got a brush tip on it i love it i really love it a lot a lot and then i used the oh you know what oh yeah i did yeah i did so did i use blush i did i used the belgian waffle from bh cosmetics i used this shade right here as my bronzer for my blush i used the vanilla truffle from bh also Vanilla Cream Truffle. Um, I kind of swirled in between these two shades right here. They're showing a lot more warm on camera than what they actually are. Pretty. Uh, this is my first time using it. It does smell like vanilla. I don't mind that. My highlighter. Guys, I just got this. You'll see this in a video of my stuff I just got. Um, this is the BH Black Light and Color Palette. I had never seen this before. Periodically, I will go on to Poshmark or Mercari, and I will look for older BH items. And that's what this is. And I used this shade right here. It has a little bit of a green, green tint to it. Oh, I just swatched over top of my other swatches, you guys. See that? That's so pretty. I love it. Um, but I wanted to use something with a little bit more of a, a green tint, and that's the only one I have. Um, and I just got it. My lashes, I did two coats of the Lash Stiletto. And I used the Glam Light Lux Lash. It's a magnetic lash. Did I say Glam Light? Glamnetic. Did I say Glamnetic? Whatever. Glamnetic Lux Lash. I got these in a giveaway from... CC's Trial Size Life, and I love them. There are a lot of magnets on it, and these are the easiest magnetic lashes I've ever used. Now, I did not use the glue, the magnetic glue that comes with it. I used the Kiss, the Kiss magnetic glue, because that's my favorite magnetic glue. You can get this at Walmart, but I do love these lashes. Um, I don't know if the, it says Lux Lash. I don't know if that's the name of the variety that it is, because that's the only name that I see on here. But yes, I got those from CC. And then my lips, I didn't do a whole lot because I don't, I didn't want to do a blue lip or a green lip or a yellow lip, but I didn't want to do a pink lip. So I just used this Bella Pierre and it is in the shade Polaris and it is a holographic this right here. It's a holographic lip gloss. So I thought it would just be, you know, let the let the eyes shine. Um, yeah, so that's what I used on my face, you guys. 
Um, thank you so much, Jennifer, for reaching out to me and asking me to collab with you uh, using this palette. I loved it. This was my first time using it. And uh, I love it when uh, creators ask me to collab with them using a palette that who knows when I would get to it. So um, I love that. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate you. You guys, thank you so much for joining us for our Glam Light Scooby-Doo collab. Please go over and check out Jennifer, see what look she creates with the other palette, the Creeps and Crawls palette. It's stunning. It is such a beautiful palette. I know it's going to be great. Uh, her makeup looks are beautiful all the time. Really appreciate being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later. And you guys, thank you so much for joining us for our Scooby-Doo, Glamnetic Scooby-Doo collab. Glamnetic. You guys.